Seattle. It's time for Championship Sunday, and we are kicking it off with FaZe versus Sentinels, and this is gonna be a bloodbath. Of course, I'm Golden Boy here alongside the legendary Walshy as we get ready to commentate this game. And boy, oh boy, are we excited for this one, Dave, because this matchup can very well just shape the entire landscape of this competition. Imagine if FaZe get eliminated here. Not expected, but totally possible. Keep in mind, Sentinels, they beat FaZe two times that at HCS Salt Lake City. Can they make it a third for the season at the most important event of the year? We're kicking it off with Recharge Strongholds, and let's jump on board with Snakebite. That's right, the captain. See what he does here. Pressure's on, and obviously a, you know, could be a bittersweet, you know, situation here as well for the boys on phase because they're going to be going up against their former teammate in Lethal, but how, you know, poetic would it be for Lethal to be able to send home the team that replaced him with Renegade? here at the Halo World Championship, Walshy. It would be utterly absurd. What a, what a story that would be. Yeah, they would ultimately have the laugh last, oh, sorry, last laugh, winning three other last five, four matches. Uh, absolutely not. Give it up on that one. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens here. Snakebite's going to have this camo. Person in the back here. He's just trying to wait this one out. He knows that there's going to be some pressure potentially coming here. But a good read as they're just going to play this one out slowly. They, they have a, a brief triple cap, but it is going to be responded immediately. Yeah, and it felt good for a second there while they're capping C, but Sentinels out rotating, taking both A and B. Sentinels fans will take that trade any day of the week, with C being one of the easier strongholds to capture on this game mode. Indeed, indeed. As we now see Spartan, he's got himself that shock rifle over in the corner. He's waiting to see if there's going to be any marks, any targets. One's potentially going to be challenging over toward gold, but Royal 2 is going to wisely enough back away. He's going to have to deal with two players here in a minute. Valkated just picking up kill after kill. They collapse on the players in the pipes. And now FaZe, they're down to the last two members. Look at them wait, though. Smart play by FaZe. No need to panic. It's early on in the game. They don't need to force anything just yet. Spartan is going to... Feel the front of that off of a frosty double kill, and that's gonna be a frosty triple kill. He's looking for one more. It could be Falcated if he's gonna sh show his head over toward top goal, but that ain't gonna happen here. Pressure's coming in from Fal, though. He's gonna force him back, and we're looking at a potential trip cap here for FaZe. Yeah, FaZe getting trip cap, trying to make up that lost crown. They're down by about 25 points right now, and what are they gonna do to make it back? They have their trip cap in effect, but B is being recaptured by Sentinels, and also Lethal has the camo. Huge opportunity here for Lethal. Certainly the player that you want to have holding this particular power item. He's able to avoid that sticky. So he'll get the flip here on C. You got two down though for Sentinel, so Lethal's gonna have to be dealing with a few of the members of FaZe here in a moment. C backs away, he will have some assistance though. Here comes Lethal, and here comes FaZe on the push. Snakebite trying to get a little dirty in there. Pushing in towards C, and oh. Lethal, as well as Snakebite. Go toe to toe on that one, very well done, but it was gonna be Frost who picked up the kill and gets the trade three down for Sam. Huge, huge trade there by Lethal, taking out his former teammate, Snakebite, Falcated. Look at those peak shots, got more damage there, but can they close out? Lethal comes in to help clear out the elevator, but here come the reinforcements, Royal 2 getting two slays and control of Turbines. Beautifully done there as they manage to hold A and C, how the Sentinels respond? Let's jump into a listen-in. No. Yep. 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 Max C on me with repulse. Yeah. Up there. Watch out, Max C with repulse. I'm watching grapple, Mike. I'm watching grapple. Yo, I'm at 5 right now. Yeah, I'm on the on right way. Right right watch out, absolute pipes. Absolute bellies. Yeah. Alright, you're last guy. In long haul, going glass. Yeah, yeah glass. Glass, Renegade, gonna go top red. Gonna go top red, Renegade. Watch out, top A. I got him. Nice, nice. Nice, dude. You're in top red. Renegade, gonna be on you, Jesse. He stuck me. He's top A. Top white. I'm sure they'll do good. Top white, get a shoot. He's on the steps. One on one there, TJ. Yeah. Weak top A cat, Frosty. Yeah, let's kill him. Kill him, kill him. I died. Yeah, we need to get top white, I think. Yeah, I'm trying. He's still top white. One's right there, sniping. Right there, sniping, looking. Mike's top A, Mike. You know you're there, Mike. 20 seconds, camo. In bottom A, bottom A. Watch out top A. Top A and bottom A, one was red sniping. All right, take our time. Yeah. Yeah, there's two there. One's red sniping. We shoot red together? They'll get staggered too bad. Yeah, I'll try to. Could be flying. Bottom A, Frosty has a repulse. Bottom A has a repulse. Top red. Ballard sniping me, Ballard sniping me. Came on five, came up up. They might try to push up on tower. In the glass here. All right, take your time. Go bottom white, bottom white, one shot, Frosty. One shot, shot Frosty. Jump bottom. In top, 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 weak. Top is weak. In front, Frosty, I died, I died. Frosty, one shot, it's Yodor. They can't kill me. And Needles, one shot. Yodor, Minger. They're still gonna kill, still gonna kill. Two bottom mid, Minger. Gonna be long, gonna be long. Yeah, two Needles. Needles sniping, and two bottom mid. One has camo. He's, he's sex, so camo. Two stacks, two stacks, one has camo. Yeah, I see. Well, despite the good comms there from Sentinels, 
FaZe still managed to have full control of this game. And you know that they're trying to anticipate some of these plays here, Dave, but FaZe have just had their number each and every play. And the only thing that they've been able to do is get one of those, you know, home, home sites, right? Whether it's A or C. Yeah, at least they haven't let that expand into a trip cap. That's true. But you're right, the comms were great, calling out what they wanted to do. It was the execution where it fell apart. Every single step of the way, FaZe were right there. They were able to get the slays, they were able to back them down, and they put in more pressure. FaZe aren't just defending right where the strongholds are at. They're taking up more ground. They're putting pressure over at control as soon as they have some extra damage on the players. Yeah, FaZe is just so good at playing with that kind of information, though. Kind of like knowing that Boo Doo is going to be weak, so World 2 can just look away for a minute here. He's going to go help his teammate out, Frosty. Boo Doo is going to turtle himself inside of World. He got some pressure over toward Gold as well, but at this point in time now, FaZe are just going to be looking for this opening, and this could be materializing here at World, but it's not going to happen. Two down now. As Sentinels are going to try and get themselves back into this game, Dave. Yeah, FaZe, the last member alive. Frosty not only getting the cap on to B, gets the slay on the lethal, and dips away over into the pipes. That win cannot be understated because all of a sudden, FaZe no longer have to be the aggressor. They have two strongholds. They can Ooh. play defense. Well played. Frosty managing to play his life there very well. Falcated wisely enough back in the way. You're seeing a lot of kills now starting to come through in the favor of FaZe Clan. Falcated's going to be between a rock and a hard place. Managed to stay alive, and they're able to get themselves two kills off of that. That's pretty big. They got three kills oh, yeah, total three. throughout that entire exchange, and they have to go for a big play here, and you look at it. Sentinels, they're grabbing the camo, they're grabbing B, and they're going to try to defend over A, but here comes the counter push from FaZe. Players weak in pipes, players weak in the batteries. Falcated's players weak got everywhere. eyes on both of them. Players weak on a Friday, players weak on a Saturday. Big <laughs> bites. I don't know, I was just trying to get a tingle going. But yes, very well done there by Sentinels to get themselves back into this one. And a trip cap could be what the doctor ordered here. You gotta watch out and see what's going on with Lethal. He does manage to get a big kill over towards C. And pay attention to that scoreline. They were down by about 100 plus. And here they They're have back. the trip cap going. Can they stop this elevator push? It looks like Falcon and crew all collapsing in here. That is going to be reset momentarily, and this trip cap is going to continue to extend. Quite dangerous here for FaZe Clan. Snake Bite's got to win this fight. He's got one in front of him. Body shots, strikes to the chest to just handle that business, but he knew that the pressure was going to be coming from up on the elevator side toward A. Here it comes now. He's got Boo Doo versus Snake Bite. Boo Doo trying to just see if he can predict where he's going to be moving from, but Snake Bite, great job as he's just lowering a lot of attention. But where is the rest of FaZe? He's been by himself back here the entire time just trying to stay alive. Boo Boo's brought a clan with him. When yeah. he comes back for this battle, it's not going to be a fair one. Three people roll into the elevator and clear out that stronghold. And look at the score. All of a sudden, Golden Boy, it's about a 30-point game. Sentinels brought it back to that trip cap. Yeah, they, that's the beauty about strongholds is that at any point in time, you can come back into this game. So at that point, Sentinels not in a bad spot here. 175 and counting. Pull down to A and C control, but Frosty's going to try and change that up here for a moment, expecting some pressure down low, but it ain't coming. But this time, FaZe have two members in the elevator. Last couple times, they've tried to capture elevator. That's true. They've been down a member, and this time, they've actually had full force. This is the setup that we saw so successful from FaZe earlier. They're holding the AB setup and putting pressure in towards control. Looks like this time, Sentinels opt to push towards the center of the map instead of just going from control and catwalk. And it looks like it's successful so far. They take down Frosty, they take down Renegade. Can they get a third kill and can they get B? And that's gonna be yet another power item picked up here for Sentinels. And they're gonna try and use this one to lock down this win, maybe take this lead. It's gonna be a tough one without a doubt. Boo Boo Doo trying to scope this one out. He's got to win this fight, and he does so. That's the trip cap now for Sen. Trip cap in effect. Are they going to push this advantage? I don't think they have the opportunity to. It's a three on three, and if they overextend, they could give up some crucial kills and lose not just one stronghold, but two. So you look at Boo Boo Doo Boo and teammates reeling back there. That's the correct play. It's okay to push for the trip cap when you have a significant advantage. Right there, they were even footing. And this is where things are going to get a little dicey now for FaZe. They got a lot of players that are very weak here toward gold. And some help is coming in. Lethal was able to get one, but Frosty does find his mark, though. He's got to try and play his life, stay alive long enough here to try and help out. But what a huge flank there from Boo Boo. All that damage done. Can it be taken advantage of? And the push is coming in towards Elevator. Falcated one-on-one -on -one against Frosty. Look at Falcated by time. He's not letting Frosty oh grab the hill just yet. 
And just because of that Renegade and Frosty having to focus on Falcated and his teammates all across the map, grab and see. And now we have a lead here for Sentinels. Enemy Big team one here, score. of course, Falcated, adhering to the five rules of dodgeball, dodge, up, dip, dive, as well as dodge. Very well effective. Fortunately for Frosty, though, he's going to get back whacking over toward A. And I don't think anyone saw that one coming. Nobody knew Boo Boo was there. Except Boo, Boo Boo sneaks behind, gets the kill, but damage still done across the map. Lethal and Falcated taken out. And the pipes is going to be a deciding battle right here. And that's going to go in the favor of FaZe. FaZe just has to play defense for another seven points. That's I it. think this has to be a contest over towards B. I don't know how Two else down. to get a different stronghold, and that's going to be game. No, B is being contested. Yeah, B is getting contested here. Frost is going to try and see if he can win this one out. He's got one player in front of him, but he can't do anything about that. Yeah. And that is going to be the game. Face Clan, take map one here Championship Sunday. They can breathe easy, but not that easy. That game was so that close. Was Sentinels brought that back. There were so many times they were down by 60 points, even over 110 points at yeah. one point throughout the game. So Sentinels to call that back shows so much resilience. It shows how strong they are playing today. Well done by the veterans on base plan. Sentinels, though, nearly had their number. These first two maps are going to be very pivotal here for both of these squads. It's going to dictate how the series goes. You heard it on the desk. You heard them talk about it. Keep in mind, all the other times that these teams have matched up, it's either been a phase 3-0 for four of the matchups, wow. or it has been Sentinels winning 3-0 and 3-1, the two times that they have beaten phase. So you've noticed that once they get the ball rolling, once they're playing strong, Sentinels can run away and win the series. It's just a matter of getting that ball down the hill. Yeah. Get that snowball effect going. Get your team pumped up. Get those advantages. You cannot expect to take down phase in any sort of easy fashion when you dig yourself in an early hole. Yeah, you really can. not It's a tough one to have to deal with, right? Because without a doubt, I think Sentinels felt as if, you know, they had that in their hands. They had the lead, which was something that we were not really expecting today, right? They were able to claw their way back in with a hundred plus point deficit at one point. Super impressive nonetheless, but that map does go to phase. Now we get ready for some Solitude Slayer. And I think this is where Sentinels, they're gonna find a way to answer back here. I'm, I'm, even though, even though these series have oftentimes been lopsided, I still think Sentinels are hitting today. This one's gonna be a difficult one to call. Yes, the Slayer stats show that this is more favor for Sentinels. One thing I was taking into account is their opposition. Who are they playing in some of these? Some of these matches, if you think about the history of this year, Sentinels have had a few more lower places. They've had some matches fair, lower in fair. the elimination bracket, whereas FaZe have consistently placed near the top and had to play very tough opposition as the tournament gets going. Yeah, it's true. It's true. This is uh, certainly something to keep in the back of your mind as you're looking at these stats, but let's play devil's advocate there for a minute, Dave. I, I, I do believe that Sentinels, the, the caliber of players that are on that stage, certainly know what is at stake here, certainly know what FaZe are capable of, having run into them so many times. So you know that they are, at the very least, prepared for this, but you can be prepared as much as possible. And let's be honest, it's very hard to prep against FaZe because this is a team that is constantly evolving, man. Constantly evolving, but to be fair, I don't know if you can find somebody that could be more prepared and have more in-depth information than Lethal, their former teammate for multiple years. He's yeah, going to yeah. know how those players play inside and out, know their strategies, know what they're going to react to when they have an advantage, when they're down two players, whether they're going to be cowering a corner or setting up a trap. He's going to know this team so well. And they're going to need that. They're going to need that info because it's only going to get harder from here, Dave. If, if map one was any indication <laughs> as to where this is going, I, I look, I think we're going to be seeing these two teams pretty much one kill apiece. I would be shocked if any squad manages to pull off a, a, a crazy lead in the mid game because at that point, then I think, you know, you kind of have to wrap it up there because it, it, with the way these two teams contest against one another, they're sure it, it, something's got to give. Yeah, something's got to give, but Sentinels, they have had some rougher Slayer matches here against FaZe. Their head-to-head -head matchup is Sentinels have won one Slayer against FaZe, whereas FaZe has won five. Oof. Not stats you want to see going into a World Championship matchup. That's the reality. World 2 is going to be able to get himself a kill early on. 
looking frosty there. He does have his sights set on Boo Boo If he didn't get him, his teammate was going to pick him up as well. And the spawns now are going to be popping up behind Frosty. And they're setting up with this snipe, getting it away from that snipe tower. Yeah, just rotating out just because you have someone near that tower doesn't mean you need to hold it. Get out of dodge, bring that sniper to a new location, and just set up and pick off players. Notice how FaZe were even willing to give up that snipe side of the map, even though not a single member has dropped. They've got three kills themselves and able to rotate that away. But look at this. Sentinels all down low, getting ready to make a hidden push. They don't want to go out into an open spot up high where Frosty can get a free pick. Yeah, and Frosty actually read this play. He moves away from it, goes over toward, well, actually right here toward the window. And a great read, great response here from Snakebite and the rest of FaZe. They were able to pick up these kills. Frosty. Lines one up, clean body shot there against Boo Boo Doo Boo, and that stop just got basically nullified immediately. Yeah. Near those stairs of that poster, I've seen Frosty use that spot consistently. Seems yeah. like he likes to set up that time, not just to get back shield, but also a time where he has full shield. He'll hide behind there, wait for one of his teammates to create a distraction, then jump up and help finish off the fight. Yeah, he comes in at the perfect moment for this phase roster. Now he's got himself some good height here by ledge. You know the pressure's gonna be coming in though. Falcata was able to get a double kill. Gotta back away from this one, and that was just a rough situation, but well done by Sentinels to put that pressure on FaZe. Yeah, Sentinels not getting off to a large deficit, even though FaZe have had Sniper in their hands for a minute and 45 seconds. That can't be understated. Yeah. Halo's all about maximizing your gains and minimizing your losses. In a situation where the opposing team has one of the best players in the world, with a sniper in their hands to only be down by three kills. Look at what happened since. They're now on neutral footing and Sentinels closing that gap even further. Only one kill away from tying this game. This is exactly what we thought was going to happen, Dave. These two teams are gonna be neck and neck the entire series. The caliber of player has exponentially increased in Halo Infinite over the course of the year. And everyone here feels that pressure. So much on the line. Spartan now sees two in front of him, but he's going to have to make a decision here. And fortunately for him, the decision was made for him. Meanwhile, as we look over toward FaZe World 2, trying to play ring around the rosy here with his player. And that is going to be a trade with Falcade. Trade is all about there. That is so rare to not have one team get that one person advantage and to just roll through the other. It shows how evenly matched these two squads are, just jostling for position. position. As soon as one is weak, that player is getting finished off and then damage trade out onto the next player. Lethal now has picked himself up a sniper. See what he could do with it now. We saw Frosty wield this weapon earlier at the beginning of the game. Try to repulse himself to get a little quick, like, juke over to the side. Fortunately, didn't work out for him there. Frosty now back where he feels comfortable with this sniper over toward Nest. Yeah. He's going to wait this one out and a big shot there on Boo Boo Doo Boo. We're going to see when Frosty grabbed the sniper, FaZe had a three kill lead. Are they going to do more work with it this time? Last time, Frosty not able to find the angles. Not until it's oh. too late. Player lifting up there. Easy no scope for someone like Frosty. And once again, going to relinquish control over at Snipe Tower and rotate it back towards the yard. Just feeling too much pressure, too many angles where the set members can come over from. But good calls were coming in for Frosty, so he looked low and was uh, gifted a pick on a player that was rather weak. Cafe is going to be exposed. Frosty wrapping back around here because they're anticipating where this push is going to come from. They need information, and they got it. They know it's going to be LR push, so Frosty's just waiting this one out. Sees the player at the driveway there. Nice body shot on him just to keep that push at bay for the time being. And those are the trades that Lethal are known for. It's going to show on the stat screen as one kill and one death, but he's taking out the power weapon player. He's taking out whether it's a sniper or rocket player and just creating an opening for his team, saying, Sniper's down for a second, boys. Make your move. FaZe Clan's built up a decent lead, 26-20. Let's listen in and see how the comms are. LR1, LR1. One, 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 I'm about to hit him. I'm about to hit him. Flowers, bro. Morning, guys. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? That's his sin. That's his sin. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? I got him. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
It's just, let's go. Yeah, two is two is two. I'm dead too. Two top side. Alex, you're on the center. Yeah, yeah. Two top side. They're pushing posters. Are you top side? Are you top side? Ah, you want to keep going? Keep going. Uh, behind me. Behind me. Behind the gold. Behind the gold. I saw blue. I saw blue. I saw blue. You're all. We're all blue. Yeah, stay far. I'm not kidding. Walk out. Come, 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 come. No, 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 Kill me, guys. 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 Kill you heard all these coordinated pushes from FaZe saying we're gonna push toward Jars, let's round this corner together. But Sentinel's having the correct answer. When players are rolling in to small clumps where you have two or three people in a small area, you just create a little distance. Yeah, you yeah. buy time for your teammates coming from different angles, throw some grenades, and Sentinels did that perfectly to tie up that game during that last listening. And also another thing to bear in mind as well, Dave, is you could also hear a little indecision in the comms of what they wanted Five to do in that particular remain. instance. They, I think it was Royal 2 saying like, trust me, trust me, like let's just go ahead and do this. And things were crumbling, unfortunately, for them. But there's still an opportunity to get back into this game, clearly because they have the lead. Yes, it's a little questionable at some point. You're like, come on, trust me. Bro, like yeah. at, at this point, when you're in the world championship, you should be able to call with authority and say, We're doing this. Frosty now managed to get that sniper yet again. And this is where things are going to get a little hairy here at the mid game because Sentinels don't want to give up any dumb deaths here. <laughs> and no one was almost given up because Frosty had the read and he knows where they are. They're just, just going not for giving the them angles. Here's the thing is. You need the spot where that sniper is, and snipers like Frosty are known to get a kill somewhere and then reposition. So they now know where Frosty was. They now know he repositioned over towards bomb center and uncertain what to do. He was shooting his feet through the Kia? Is that possible? Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> More you know. I learned a lot of things this weekend, Dave. There were a lot of really cool, like the, the, the palm tree jump up. They didn't even remember that, that was a thing. Pretty cool stuff there. A 36 apiece, Frosty. Let's be real, has been pretty much negated with this sniper. We have now seen him go on the sprees that he's known for. Instead, almost feels like Frosty's been more of a distraction as all these players are trying to collapse in and get these angles that players like Royal 2 and Renegade are able to get some picks. There's a kill from Frosty on the Spartan. There you go. Gets his help on the Falcated, making use of these last couple bullets. But here comes the fight against Lethal, and that's going to be some much needed kills and room for error here for the phase roster as they go into the 41 kill mark. They only need nine. First to 50. Frosty finds one in front of him. A big fight here. Sparring couldn't get away from that one fast enough. A killing spree as well for Frosty. He's looking for the double, but instead, his teammate's going to have his back and get that one. They're so close to being able to wrap this one up. The Sentinels are so close from being able to tie this. How do they decide to play this? You don't have the angle you need if you're in Sentinels. You have everyone down low and pushing over towards LR. You need that additional angle from top gold or from Cap Air Market. 1v1, Falcade versus Frosty. Frosty comes out ahead. They were chopping up that map and not allowing Sentinels to be able to move at all. Finally, though, decisions were made by Sen to break out of this one. But if they keep trading, this is going to spell disaster here for Sen. 47-41, Frosty dips on out of there, has nothing left in the chamber with that sniper. but. Sure here, if they're not careful, they could get caught off guard. So they got to be mindful of this one. And that's why Frosty, wisely enough, is going to dip away. But the pressure is going to be gonna coming repulse here from back. He's ah. going to try to repulse him back or get that melee. Buy some time for his teammates. Eventually taken out there. Not sure if that sniper was able to be slipped away here from the Sentinel's roster. We did see it in the hands of Spartan before he was taken out. So if we have Sniper in the hands of Sentinels, they actually would have a chance here. And the fact that we see... Ah, they don't. Oh, I was just going to say, the body language from Renegade makes me feel like they had Sniper. It felt like he was trying to make a move to not let them get something there. But yeah. Royal 2 has Sniper. This is going to be a tall order here for Sentinels to pull this one back. Royal 2 also wasting a little bit of extra ammo. He realizes that 
one of the only ways that Sentinels are going to come back in this game is if they kill him and have a full sniper rifle. There's the 49, 49 kill. Falcon, it's going to be a little weak over toward the side. The big fight's coming down low. But here comes Royal 2, but it don't matter. FaZe Clan picks up map 2, and they go up 2-0. And that is tough here. Not only just being down 2-0 against FaZe, but knowing that game four is so statistically against Sentinels. Yeah. They're gonna have to call up the impossible. I mean, we've seen them do it already this weekend. They're That's basically dead men walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider their series against Hate of White. They were down by 10 kills in that Street Slayer. This is elimination bracket round one. They come back to win that game. I believe it's 50-48 or 50-49. That's the difference between them getting 9th through 12th in this event yeah. and being in top four currently. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Dave. It's been a bit of a uh, uphill battle for this Sen roster throughout the weekend, having to go through, you know, a uh, uh, real smorgasbord of top teams here in the HCS. I mean, don't get me wrong, FaZe did the same thing as well, but for this rather young roster in Sentinels that got together, uh, you know, like toward the midpoint of the season, it's been awesome to see the progress that they've made. But on the opposite side of that, FaZe Clan, even when you think that they're going to be in a tough situation, even when you think that they're going to be down by a sizable amount, they find a way to claw back into the game time and time again. That's the frustrating play against man. It is so tough. I mean, they play their game so consistently, so well. It feels like you have to not only play out of your mind, you have to play that for a full 10 to 12 minutes yeah. in order to beat someone like FaZe. That's why you'll see a time where you're maybe not playing your absolute best or make a mistake. FaZe capitalize, yeah. take a little bit of a lead. You start to play your best, you maybe tie it up, and then you make one little misstep where FaZe makes an incredible play, and all of a sudden they're in the lead again. It's so difficult and frustrating to be playing against this FaZe roster. Yeah, they do such a great job of playing for one another. But coming up next now, Live Fire, King of the Hill. We, I honestly, with how this series has unfolded now, Dave, I think FaZe have that ice in them. They feel confident, they feel comfortable. They're, they're not keeling over when they lose these leads. They still have plans, they still have strategies. It feels like they are in a flow state right now, so to speak. Yeah, that's the most impressive part is that Sentinels, they're getting down to some deficits and they're able to close those gaps. The fact that they've been down, like I said, over 100 points on Stronghold Recharge, they were down by eight plus kills earlier on Solitude Slayer, able to close that gap. So yeah. they've shown that they're able to make the comeback here. Now what really matters is, can they just get a lead? Yeah. Can they get a sizable lead that they can hold on to? Maybe this time when they make an error, it goes to a tie game instead of them going down by true, five true. to 10 kills. Here, of course, is the King of the Hill stats. Phase plan, no surprise. And the two teams above them, again, no surprise. But for Sentinels, though, and how long this team has been working on this, I I think that if, if this is it, then this is your tournament life on the line, you have to answer back here and now. The only thing, the only option is a reverse sweep. And if you pull that off here in Seattle on Championship Sunday, I just, Hell, I, I think that you're on, <laughs> you're on the path, baby. You're They'd on the be path. on the path to greatness if they're able to somehow pull this off. And what I need to see from Sentinels, if they're going to not only just win this game, but extend the series, is you need to let some of those players off the leash. You need to true, let Spartan true. the Dog yeah. off the leash. You need to let Falcated do what he's been doing best. We've been seeing incredible slays and flanks out of Boo Boo. We've been seeing Lethal winning his 1v1s, doing everything he needs to do for this roster. It just all needs to come together no hesitations, yeah, yeah. no self-doubt in this roster, and they just need to start to roll through. Because I even saw in game number one on Stronghold's Recharge, there was times where they got two down, and they decided just like to hold holes. Yeah. They held that two cap set up. That's okay if you're on even ground, but if you have a two-person advantage, roll through, try to stagger those spawns against FaZe. Get as much value Yes, they as need to get as much value as possible. They need to be maximizing those situations where they have an advantage. And that's what it's gonna take here from Sentinels. They need to set a statement right here. They need to start getting riled up. They need to get hyped up once they get those advantages and try to start the reverse sweep. Otherwise, we're going to see FaZe methodically dismantle the Sentinels roster here in a game number three and prepare themselves for the elimination bracket finals. You see Snake Bite barking the orders, but you talked about hype. That's the guy right there, <laughs> Spartan. He's got to be the guy. You know, I lost my voice. He's got to lose his voice up there, too. There's, there's no other choice at this point, Dave. 
Let's take a quick look at the bracket. Kill that leaderboard here so far this weekend. At the very top, we got a couple of members from Space Station Gaming, including the MVP of the 2023 season, Stellar, at the top of the list by a margin. Wow. And then there in three and four slots, we got FaZe Clan members, Royal 2 and Snakebite, followed up by Falcated. Three of the top five KD leaders here in this match. Very impressive. What a weekend. What a weekend that all these teams have had here. We're not done yet. Plenty more to come. This is only just the beginning. Let's see what Sentinels can do here. It's not out of the realm of possibility that Sentinels can bring this back. It's just going to be very, very difficult. Yeah, I mean, we just haven't seen it yet this season. Any time that FaZe have won two games in series against Sentinels, they've closed out that series 3-0. Now, can Sentinels do what they haven't done this season yet against FaZe? Can they pull off a reverse sweep? Can they start it right here on King of the Hill Live Fire? We're kicking off with Lethal, the leader and captain for this roster. All right, so they're going to play this one out, wait and see if anyone's going to get a little reckless toward mid, but instead it's going to be Snake Bite over toward the dummies. Good clean up there by Lethal, but the pressure coming in. They really want this tower control with the snipe, and they're going to be rewarded for it with that play. You got one player who's going to be rather weak toward the nest, and Renegade smells blood in the water, so he goes for that. They have nest control, forcing him inside of that garage, but there seems like a player's trying to force him out of there. But this entire time, Renegade's had snipe. They've gotten a little ahead in slays. But the hill is 75% captured oh, by yeah. Sentinels. So OS and Sniper in the hands of FaZe, they now need to clear out this hill and match up 80% of the hill time. They have no other choice. I don't you think he see. knows that player's still back there, no? Must have been cleared, must have been cleared. Uh, yeah, last two members over at C-Plaid, that's correct. Well, with Snakebite holding this over shield here, maybe he can use this to good use, but it runs out at the worst possible time. It did not look at the top, and unfortunately like for him... through the legs or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that sucks. He hates to see that happen, but... I'm gonna start walking bow-legged around the map like that. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Dave. You made me cough. <laughs> All right, well, Sentinels draw blood first. They get that first point on the board, showing that they are not gonna roll over and die in this elimination semifinal. They got the start they wanted. They are looking so good, and... They're, they're getting out slayed. That's the impressive part. They're getting out slayed by a little bit, and they dominated hill number one just by being in a better position. So what Sentinels need to do is get even in slays. Yes, that worked on that very first hill. When you're able to out-rotate, when you're able to get so much hill time. Yeah. But do not be mistaken and assume that we can get out slayed the rest of this time and win in hill. No. Falcated, one of the KD leaders so far throughout the tournament, showing why he is such a difficult kill. He takes out two members That's huge. of phase with his teammate Spartan. All right, well, pressure's going to be on Snake by here because he's going to be dealing with two members and an overshield as well. So he's got a lot of work ahead of him, but some support's going to be coming over from the nest side. Great play there. This is going to be tough here, though, for Sentinels. Fortunate spawns coming out of phase. They're pushing over from OS side. They have players coming from nest, but they are somehow able to clear out most of these members of phase despite having a really good disbursement and multiple angles to attack from. Yeah. Phase push was shut down. Well read there by Sentinels. You see where the phase members are spawning out toward the house there. You got some attempts at bottom mid as well. New snipe is going to be dropping in a moment here, so keep our eyes on that one. But this is about to be a 2-0 for Sentinels here, Dave. And it's looking push. good. One, one more, more push. push. Here it goes. Frosty, they're going to pick up down. one angle. Look at this great push oh. there. Both Sparty and Falcated focus over on the plasma side, getting numbers advantage. And now they're going to push on back towards the hill. Cap number two, and Sentinels off to a great 2 0 lead. Sentinels have this 2 0 lead. Let's hear how the comms are going as we jump into a listen in. I don't see Maker. Maker A. 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 That could be a good name. One time. Yeah, two Tyler. Nice. Last guy. I dropped him. I'm going pillars behind him. Got to lift Tyler. I don't want pillars. Yeah. yeah, I got him, I got him. There's one going green still. Green. 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 Green.
He has a sniping hill going AP. Yeah. yeah. One shot screens, didn't die. Mike just hill. He's on front screens. Front screens. Uh, they're yeah, not on him. Behind you, though. Behind you, though. Hill dummy door. Yeah, they're not, still not on him. Oh, yeah, 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 what's going up cuts? Just pop it, going up cuts. Yeah, go. What's the key? Yeah, you're going to right tunnel, really big. Roll two, right tunnel. Jail. Hill guys, beef. 3 0. 3 0. Who are we? OSC play. OSC. I don't second. He's going. OSC. One shot cuts. Cuts. Yeah. You don't have concrete. Yeah. He's out of Bobby, I think. Almost. He's keyed. I don't know. Bobby keys out of Bobby. Play for kills, play for yep. kills. Yeah, he waves, he waves. Yeah, cuts. He waves up. Can you wave first? Okay. Just through that list then, we heard Sentinels trying to coordinate and get some kills there, but FaZe answering right back. We had yet to see really Sentinels get a full push after they start staggering spawns. You notice how frustrating that was. They start to say, all right, play for kills. They have to give up that hill. It's a four cap game. And at some points, you have to realize when you're at a disadvantage. Uva Duva now trying to take the fight to phase. He's got some help, and it's going to be coming in big time. They got two members down. They're going to hold this one, trying to see how much progress they can get. It feels like once Sentinels get on those points, man, they, they extract so much value, so much time. Also, just such a great job from Boo Dubu having Halo IQ and awareness <laughs> there. Originally hiding away from Keydoor and scoreboard side while his teammates pushed in. As soon as they pushed in, rotate the other side of that silo and block any angles attacking from plasma or dummies. Now they just have these multiple angles and look at these players, two in the tunnels. They know where the finishes are gonna come from. And all of a sudden, the final member snake bite has to retreat all this the way towards it. mud. They know the spawns are gonna be mud, green, or nest. And they read it, they get three. Sentinels trying to will themselves back into this game, Dave. I, I'm, I'm so impressed by how they've been just so methodical each and every time. The moment they get on those those uh, hills, they just don't let it go. Yeah, and they've been just doing a great job anytime they get the advantages. The part that's been most impressive to me is when you have seen Sentinels and FaZe in a 4v4 scenario. Sentinels have been recognizing where players are pushing from multiple sides, and they'll push on over, fight one side yeah. first, and then revert back with their numbers advantage. Oh my word, Boo Boo Dubu trying to make miracles happen here, but unfortunately, you got four members down here for Sentinels. They know where the spawns are gonna be coming from. They're anticipating this. Frosty trying to get a cheeky angle there to pop someone, maybe do a body shot, force that player away, which he is successful in doing so. Rotation coming around the side here as well. You just really, I love the way that Frosty has just a heads up way that he's just predicting where these players are gonna go. Predicting as much where as they're can. from, but once again, he's moving around. Sentinels kind of out rotating them. Frosty, True. notice nobody was at garage or green. That has to be a red flag line up for the phase members realizing, uh-oh, that means there's gotta be three or four players over here towards top center or towards the silo. Yeah, good call there, Dave. Halo, Sounds like I said, great. when it comes to callouts, half of it is calling out where somebody is, the yep. other half is deduction. As soon as you see some where players are not at, you don't see them on a quarter or a third of the map. Your flags, you start going up, and you just say, oh my gosh, they're everywhere else. Yeah. You need to run back to get in the action. You have to make that assumption each and every time. All right, FaZe now. What can they do? Is they're going to get inside of this? 3-1 in the count if you're just joining us. FaZe have been looking pretty solid, but Sentinels have been bringing it to FaZe in every single map. This is do or die now for Sentinels. Elimination semi-final. Frosty goes down. Two, three members now. Scratch that for FaZe. And if they continue to hold this, this could very well be it, Dave. This is looking really solid here for FaZe. They gotta break this. They are favored on this game type. Keep in mind, though, I believe the record was 7 and 2 on Live Fire King of the Hill for Sentinels, and 6 and 5 oh, on FaZe land. So, an advantage, but right here, FaZe have a chance to bring this within striking distance. Snake Bite coiled up in the corner, trying to fight Snake against Boo Who's gonna win this fight? It's gonna be Snake Bite. Snake Bite gets the win. And this should be the hill. They got to stop lethal here. There's going to be one player underneath. No one can stop this him. This is that's scary, three. actually. They not only are getting that hill, they're, they're getting gonna go a shield. fresh OS. And there is plenty of time on the board. This would be a different story if there was only 30, 60 seconds left. But all of a sudden, phase, they're reinvigorated. They realize that this game is still very winnable, and they are on the charge. Big pick up there for Snake Bite. He knows exactly where the player's going to be located, but he gets that melee off on one. Renegade now to back him up. They're locking this one down. Green's a tough one, especially with these spawns coming through that big door. There's a lot of bullets you're going to have to make your way through. And look at this. Renegade knows he's going to get help crossfire from Snake Bite over towards the mud. He's watching towards the sandbags and now prepared to double team anyone through the garage door. Realize the push is not coming or it's going to be delayed. Uncertain of where she should be helping. But Sentinels, they're deciding to rotate all the way across the map. They want to get 
control of the C plant and then push over from Nest Bridge. They Ooh, want that push. heightened angle. But FaZe, they already have the answer. They have players sitting all the way at tower ready to fight. And because of that, Boo Boo's isolated 1v1. Who's Renegade's going with Boo Boo play or Renegade? He's got to play his life here. Shooting around this big win there for Royal 2. They're going to keep this one going. And we might have a tight game, Dave. This one's going to be tied up. Final hill. Wow. C plat. Who's going to take it? Sentinels. Going to breathe life into the series. Oh, Are we going to game word. number four or a phase? Punching a ticket to the elimination bracket finals. What a comeback from phase plan. Magnum trying to win the battle there, but he's got some assistance. Frosty's got the reads. He does not have anyone in the hills quite yet, though. Got to hit that shot, but he doesn't find it. He wasn't scoped in for it. And the pressure coming from behind as well, so Falcade is going to be able to take him out. Okay, what a flank there. Battle's going to be in the back towards the mud. Royal 2 has the weapons. Lethal's the last one alive. This is going to be phased, putting more time on the board. Scary territory. And Royal 2 hit these shots. OS coming up soon as well. Helps his teammate with the shroud screen. That's going to be Renegade grabbing a full overshield. Oh boy. They have half the hill. This is going to be tough. Sentinels don't really have two pushes. They have one push here, and they need to do some real damage. And they got to get through an overshield player here, but Renegade's going to find his mark. Lethal's going to drop low. Snake bites down. They're around 75% here. Pops him. He's able to melee one. Maybe looking for the other as well. But I, oh, his teammate was there for the pickup with the snipe. That was Lethal, did it? Lethal was down, rather. Only a few more seconds remaining on this hill, Dave. This one's tough. It's do or die right here. They Four win Sentinels. This. It's Lethal and Boo Boo. Can they get in the hill? And no! Faze oh my. make the comeback here on game number three. How did they do that, Dave? That is a heartbreaker. Uh, I, I'm stunned. How did they pull that off? They were down 3, was it 3-1 at one point, Walshi, and they managed to dig deep, pull that win back, a heartbreaker for Sentinels. They are eliminated from the Halo World Championship 2023, and Phase Plan, move on. Phase Plan, top three, and you know they're eyeing that number one prize. But that is tough. One of the toughest things in some of those objective games, specifically King of the Hill and Strongholds, yeah. Yeah, is yeah, when yeah. you take your time to do a push together, and that push fails. There's nothing Especially that feels on worse than that. Yeah. Where you, you take the time, you're saying, all right, we're all four alive, we're gonna push over here. That tower push at the end to try to get the flank towards Nest and shoot green was completely shut down. Well, I mean, look at the, uh, honestly, even that first play, right? When FaZe did everything right, they were getting power items, power weapons, whatever you need, and Sentinels managed to capture it, right? Like in, in record time. It, it, these game modes, they can get away from you so quickly if you're not careful. And unfortunately for Sentinels, that's the result. 3-0 sweep, but what a series we were treated to. If there's one thing we can say about Sen, is that they did take it to face today. Yes, that was an incredible showing, incredible series. Sentinels, they're not going to be super stoked on fourth place as they had their sights set higher. By the end of the day, fourth best in the world. No shame in that. Indeed, indeed. For now, though, we have Blaze standing by with Frosty.